Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown today on uh, who I am, what I'm all about, and the type of content that you can expect to see from me. So my name is Mandy. I am a mother of five. I'm a wife to my high school sweetheart. Um, I am a homesteader, a homemaker, a homeschooler. Uh, we live on six acres and we are novice homesteaders. We did not grow up on farms. We did not have any experience with this type of life, but we knew that we wanted this type of life. And so we jumped in, two feet in, head first, whatever you want to say, and uh, decided to just go for it. So now here we are. We moved in August, the end of August. And um, here we are in January. We have now two milk cows, five pigs, and a lot of chickens and a lot more to come because we have some big plans. We're going to utilize every acre, every inch of the six acres, right? So um, our big goal with our homestead dreams is self-sustainability, right? I think I've said that in a past video where we want to be a, um, a farm that is able to sustain itself, obviously. So that means we want a big garden. We want to be able to go out and pick fresh from the garden and we want to be able to preserve for ourselves and possibly other family members uh, to sustain us for the rest of the year. We uh, want to have a meat source. We want to have a milk source. We want to be making our own butter and our cheese and our whatever, you know. And so uh, for us, it's really important from a nutritional standpoint to know where our food is coming from um, and to also be feeding our kids what we consider the best of the best, okay? Um, we want to avoid the supermarket as much as we can. I think it would be really cool if within five years I am doing 80% of my, uh, eight, like 80% of our food from our farm. I think that'd be amazing. And that's a big goal of mine, but uh, we're going to work slowly towards it. It'd be cool if we got there 100% of the time, but you know, don't wanna dream too big there. <laughs> no, maybe someday, right? Like we never know. Um, so we moved from the city to a small town and then out here to our little acreage. And it was quite Quite a wild ride there for a minute. I was very, very pregnant uh, when we decided to list our house for sale and move here. Um, and I did not think it was going to happen. However, <laughs> the Lord had other plans. He paved a way and he made it happen. So at three weeks postpartum, we had packed up our entire lives, packed up our kids and moved on into this place. So it's been an adventure in, um, learning to slow down, learning to be patient with ourselves and each other, and also uh, being bold. Like we decided to just go all in and get the animals and just get it all rolling and do it because why not, right? Like why not? And so now that we are a few months in, we're experiencing our first winter not first winter ever. Like we live in Iowa. We've definitely had winters before. Whoop. But our first winter on the homestead and our first winter with outdoor animals. And it has been a little nerve, a little like nerve wracking. <laughs> um, you know, it's a lot of responsibility having all of these animals relying on you and your family as well. And it being the first snowfall, snow season in a new home. You just, you know, you, you're learning a new home as much as you are. Um, like just, it takes a while to get used to things, right? When you move into a new house, like every season is like, okay, you don't know how things are gonna turn out until you've been there for at least a solid year, I think. So anyway, that's where we're at. That's just a brief little synopsis of that. Um, so what can you expect? <gasps> the cat. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> what a cutie guy. Yeah. 
you can expect to see from me all the home things, right? The home studying, the homemaking, the homeschooling, uh, motherhood. Yes, and um, just taking you along on our daily lives, right? I really want to be authentic with you guys, and I really want to show you a side of things that I'm kind of having a hard time finding myself. Um, when you look up all of these homesteading accounts and all of these homesteading YouTube channels and all this stuff, it's like, it's very... It's very eggs and flowers and linen aprons and this beautiful sunset, right? Which are all like real true good things, right? But I really want to um, expose the nitty gritty of it all too. And just document our journey, uh, the highlights, the lows and everything in between. So that's what you can expect from me. My big New Year's resolution this year is to remain consistent with my YouTube channel. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna remain consistent. I am wanting to learn how to edit videos better and um, just provide you guys with better content regarding our daily lives and teaching you the skills that I'm learning along the way. So I'm really, really happy that you decided to click on today's video. And if you would like to continue to follow along, just be sure to like and subscribe. Tell all your friends about us, of course. And um, we will be back soon with more content. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah, you'll see some cute babies. You'll see some toddlers. You'll see some big kids. You'll see me. You might see my husband. We might show him. <gasps> We've got a pretty cute dog, too. Our dog's pretty cute, isn't he? <gasps> He's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.